Hi, welcome to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, in the last couple of episodes, we've talked about managing ICX switches with SmartZone, in particular, adding new ICXs into SmartZone. Uh, and then we talked about how to automatically approve them by having them put into groups based on, you know, subnet or IP range or model type, that, that sort of thing. So this time we're going to talk about how to upgrade the firmware uh, on your devices. So we'll hop over to my uh, SmartZone dashboard and you can see I'm on the wired dashboard here. Um, so it's showing me my six switches and three are good, three are bad, you know, ports, traffic analysis, etc. Um, so the first thing we want to do is we need to get firmware into SmartZone, right? SmartZone doesn't come with any ICX firmware built in. Um, so we need to get a version uh, loaded into the system. So if we go to administration in the left hand tab here, go to administration, then uh, go to upgrade. Then under upgrade, we're looking for switch firmware. So uh, if we find the switch firmware tab uh, and we're going to browse for our firmware. And this is exactly the way you download it from the support site, right? So just take that zip file as you get it with the manifest, with all the, um, you know, ICX 7150, 7250, 7450, etc. directories all intact the way you get that zip file. Um, so it takes, you know, a couple of minutes. This is a big file to upload. So you can see the status indicator down here, 22%, 25%. So it takes a minute or two to upload that file. So we'll just wait for that to finish. Okay, so that has finished the upload. And we now see under firmware version here, uh, FI8080 and the model supported uh, in that firmware, right? So 7250, 7650, 7750, 7150, and 7450 in that firmware. Um, so we now have available firmware. Um, we will uh, then hop back over to our switches from the left menu. Uh, and here, um, if we choose an individual device, so let's say we'll choose this uh, C12 right here. Um, if we look under, so if you look under firmware history first, you'll see there hasn't been any uh, any upgraded job status or, or any firmware upgrade history up until this point. Um, so again, if we go up here, we look under more, and then we'll see, you know, schedule firmware, um, so we can do that. It wants to know what firmware to uh, to upload, whether you want switch and router, uh, whether you want to apply the firmware now or apply it later. Um, so we could do switch, we could do it now, or you can schedule it for a later time and then choose what you want. So click that reload, it's gonna show you 8080. Um, uh, right and then we'll just we'll have it done right now so it's just saying make sure you you don't schedule it at the same time as the uh as the automatic config backup is scheduled so we'll say okay to that so our request is submitted successfully and then then if we go back to that device drop over to firmware history here and refresh that we see an in-progress uh, upgrade here, right? So it's going to upgrade the UFI, right? So the so the unified image, uh, so that's a good thing. Uh, in a previous video, we talked about that unified image, how it includes the boot file and the and the PoE firmware all in a single image. So, um, and that will be going forward. Um, there will be UFI only um, at a at a later date. So that UFI is a good thing to use now. So we can see that that's in progress. And if there was a failure, it's gonna show here under uh, under failure reason. So we're back after about five minutes or so. And what we can see here is um, under the job status, it now says it's completed. Uh, failure reason's not available. Uh, and then if we look down at the firmware upgrade history, we can see that it went from 8.0 to 8.0. So that's it. Easy as that. Thanks for joining and have a great day.